Hey there guys, so tonight I'm going to be imaging the Pinwell Galaxy and I'm going to show you a comparison between the Omega UHC filter and the Bander, Ban Bander uh, Moon and Sky Glow filter which uh, wasn't really my intention but uh, yeah, anyway, let's just uh, jump into the video Okay, so as many of you may know, uh, I like to use the UHC filter like 99% uh, of the times uh, and I already shot uh, the Pinwell Galaxy yesterday using this filter but uh, I don't know if I'm just uh, imagining this or the, the sky tonight looks uh, really clear so I'm kind of thinking if uh, I should switch to the Moon and Sky Glow filter which uh, I wasn't using for a long time now and that's mainly because it's not uh, really suitable for my backyard because of the light pollution uh, is uh, very bad here but yeah as I mentioned the sky seems uh, very clear and uh, dark uh, so, uh, so yeah I might just give the moon and sky glow filter uh, a chance tonight but uh, first uh, I need to switch it okay so the switch is done now the thing is why I usually use the UHC filter is because it's uh, a little bit more aggressive on uh, cutting away the light pollution but I think that I'll first uh, pull up a screen record uh, which I made uh, yesterday and I'll put uh, tonight's one on the other side and, and yeah I know that the colors might be slightly different uh, despite that the ACR does uh, quite a good job on uh, correcting the white balance but yeah I guess we will see this uh, very shortly I just need to turn off the light a bit and uh, let's uh, take the first image Okay, so the first image uh, using the Moon and Sky Glow filter is in and uh, if I remember correctly, uh, despite that the image uh, looks a little bit more washed out, I think that I can see a tiny bit uh, more details uh, than uh, with the UHC filter. Now to be honest, uh, I'm a bit confused and I know that uh, I don't have uh, both of those images uh, side by side, but I'm really thinking that I'm seeing uh, more details through the Moon and Sky Glow filter. Well, uh, I think that the title of the video just changed from uh, Astrophotography, the Pinwheel Galaxy to UHC filter versus the Moon and Sky Glow filter. I will really have to make a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison here and I will probably share uh, the files uh, in uh, the Google Drive. So I hope that uh, maybe some of you will go uh, check them out and uh, maybe mention what do you think. But okay, I'll just uh, let the sequence run and uh, we will see what will happen. Okay, so first I have to apologize, but I forgot uh, the light I usually have uh, on, the, on my camera. But yeah, I came back to Arek because I wanted to continue the test with the filters. And the issue that I'm having right now is that uh, last time that I was here, this field was uh, covered in snow, but now it's uh, almost purely ice. So I have to be very careful how I step. Let me just show you. But anyway, so I am uh, almost uh, all set up and it's uh, nearly time to start the image, so, uh, so yeah, I'll finish uh, the setup. Okay, so 
I don't know how the sound quality will be because uh, I'm actually filming uh, with my phone. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy that I came back uh, to the Puhori mountain because uh, the sky is really a lot darker than uh, in my backyard. So yeah, tonight's images are just a bonus. And let me show you, I'm on frame six currently. The problem that I had while I was setting up was really that uh, uh, on the ground where there's supposed to be snow is now uh, a thick uh, layer of ice but luckily I managed to find a very small field uh, where there is still snow so I set up my tripod there. The only thing that I'm a little bummed about is that I forgot my tablet so I don't uh, have any entertainment uh, with me but yeah, guess I uh, guess I'll be meditating for the next uh, two to three hours. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished taking images from uh, both uh, filters separately and uh, for the test I used uh, the images taken only from uh, my backyard and you can find the link to the Google Drive uh, in the description below plus I'll also add the stacked image from uh, both of the filters and uh, both of the locations combined altogether I captured around uh, 12 hours of uh, exposure time and if you want to go ahead and process it but I would really appreciate if you could give me some feedback after you go and check the files. But yeah, now if we come to the conclusion, or should I say what I actually figure out is that uh, I have a full spectrum mode, so a naked sensor. That means I removed all of the filters and all of the glass uh, that's in front of the sensor. And if I look at the light transparency graph from the UHC filter, uh, you will see that it lets uh, quite a lot of infrared light through that's why my images look just a tiny bit softer compared uh, to the moon and sky glow filter which still lets the red part of the spectrum uh, through but cuts uh, a lot of the infrared light and despite that UHC filter does a better job at blocking the light pollution it uh, lets in uh, just a little bit too much of the infrared so uh, I think I might uh, rethink uh, my strategy here okay so before I end today's video uh, I just wanted to say to all of you that uh, I'm really hoping that uh, you and uh, your loved ones are doing well and are staying safe. I heard so much bad stories from our neighbors uh, Italy where I have uh, quite a lot of friends from the days when uh, I was uh, racing motorcycles. But yeah, I'm really hoping that all of you are finding ways to get uh, over this. I'm uh, kind of keeping uh, myself uh, busy. Uh, with imaging since we luckily have uh, clear skies but as you all know the weather changes uh, quite quickly so uh, I might need to find myself busy in some other ways uh, shortly but anyway again I just really hope that all of you are well and uh, safe and uh, I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you all again next time take care everybody bye <laughs>